Alright, so there's been a lot of questions about how to load themes on a Sidekick 3. We'll go ahead and take you step by step here. Uh, of course, you're going to need your Sidekick 3. You're going to need a mini SD card installed in it, as well as your USB cable. Uh, the first step is going to be plugging your Sidekick 3 in to your PC with the USB cable. And it should pop up, we're using Windows XP here, it should pop up asking what you'd like to do with it. We're going to go ahead and choose Open Folder to View Files. Now since this is the first theme that we're loading on our Sidekick 3, we need to go ahead and create a new folder. So we need to right click, select New, and then Folder. And we want to name it Themes, T-H-E-M-E-S. So once we've got that, go ahead and open that folder. It should be empty since we just created it. And now we need to go find a theme. So we'll load up uh, www.sk3themes.com. And we're going to go get one of our favorite themes here, the Tron theme. So we'll go ahead and click on that to download it. And we want to save this. And we're just going to save it on the desktop here. So once that's saved, we can close out of here. And you'll see the Tron 15.zip file that we downloaded. Uh, now if you're using Windows XP, you should be able to just right click on that and then click Extract All. It's going to pull up a wizard here. Go ahead and click Next. And in the Select a Destination window, go ahead and click the Browse button. And then we want to expand My Computer and browse to the drive that is your Sidekick 3. On My Computer, it shows up as an F drive. In there, we want to go ahead and select the Themes folder that we just created and go ahead and click OK. And then just click Next one time on the wizard. You should see the progress bar go across as it's extracting the theme to your sidekick. And we'll see over here a folder pops up named after the theme. So it's the Tron 1.5 folder in this example. So once it's done extracting, we can go ahead and uncheck the Show Extracted File and Finish. And then we'll want to take a look here. Like I said, you should see a folder. And in that folder, you should see some PNG files, some image files. Uh, most importantly, you should see a theme.txt file. Uh, once you've confirmed that, we can go ahead and close out of here. And then go ahead and unplug the sidekick. And then open up the menu, go to backgrounds, and you should see your theme listed down at the bottom there. Go ahead and select it, should switch and you should be all set. And that's all there is to it. And now from here on out I can just download a zip file and extract it to that themes folder um, and I can load multiple themes. Okay, one last thing that we wanted to make sure to cover was the structure that your Sidekick 3 memory cards should have. A lot of people are putting things in wrong folders and getting confused about how this should look. When you plug in your Sidekick 3 and it first pull it up, your folder should look like this. By default, you should have a DCIM folder. That's going to contain all your pictures. So if you go in there, you'll see all your pictures. You should have a music folder, which of course has all your MP3s. And then you should have the themes folder that you created manually. Inside that themes folder, you should have individual subfolders for each theme you, have, you want on your Sidekick 3. So there shouldn't be any files in here, just folders. Inside each of these folders, then there should be files and specifically the theme.txt, which defines what the theme is. So if you're having problems loading themes, make sure you have a themes folder and then individual subfolders for each theme. And in each of those folders, you have the files for the themes.